Hello and welcome to Jumpin' Johnny Gaming. This video is a walkthrough of how to get three stars in Pebberley Ruins for two point campus. This is one of two campuses that unlock when you one star Spiffenmore and Fluffborough. And this is the seventh campus I've completed and it will mainly deal with archaeology classes. And the only new thing is you can sell what your students uncover so you do get a bit more money than usual on this campus. By this point in the game you should know how to do a fully functional campus that runs smoothly. I will still give you an overview on what I have done after each star. Before I begin the campus, build a large campus area and an archaeology dig site next to it and completely optional and you can do this in other maps but this one it's best to build this way anyway because you've got a small gap of bought land in between you could use this opportunity to get the 50 bookworms achievement or trophy as it's a small area to look out for. Money is pretty tight to start with, but start your campus and build with profit and archaeology sells. The first star task is to build to campus level 12. Easy enough, you should do this anyway, and remember after you get plenty of money, go back to your rooms and up their individual rooms level. Level 10 archaeology students will be done automatically. You should get this in year 2, with excavate 15 artifacts all done for you. As you expand the campus, you will have to do more dig sites. The last task is to train an archaeology teacher to level 5. The archaeology class has to be level 3 and it's always easier to hire a level 4 teacher and then train to level 5 using the training room. Leave this one as the last thing to do. In year 4 I eventually did this but I had a really good campus set out to tackle the other star tasks. Here is an overview of the campus so far, dormitories with 10 beds, all showers and bathrooms with 8 facilities, packed student lounge and union for plenty of entertainment, 2 pastoral rooms and 2 medical rooms, bought the 2 plots of lands below and filled the first with 3 dig sites and the third plot, one big section of the campus and duplicated most rooms with added training and private tuition rooms. Don't forget janitors with security for rivals. The two star tasks are pretty easy, building the campus at level 18. I didn't extend too much, put in another first aid and pastoral room for the demand and lots of outside items to bump it up. Upgraded teachers or hiring staff does raise the campus level as well. Having an average of B+, if you have a good campus this should be done automatically. 
You can keep sending students that have C grade or below to private tuition, or you can expel all students with a B or below. It's best to do that during the summer break. Also, that includes the happiness. My happiness was pretty much 70% throughout, but during the summer break, the student's happiness will bump up significantly with no classes, so just leave it running. The last task is just simply waiting for your students to dig items. It took just over one academic year to complete all tasks. This is why it's always best to take your time and build the best campus right at the start. It always makes future star tasks much easier. The three star task is to extend the campus to level 24. Buy two more plots of land, use one for a big campus full of copied usual rooms, and keep one plot free as you will have to put in more dig sites. To get the attractiveness to go up on your campus, go to the bottom left menu and click on the eye icon and then attractiveness to get the grid up and everything in grey put in rugs and posters everywhere to turn into green and outside put in duck hedges or if you've got plenty of money, buy the fossil for Kadoosh and place them and you will get the attractiveness task complete. Also make sure you've got plenty of janitors to pick up rubbish in bins as that brings it down. Also, by the time I was extending the campus and getting the attractiveness up, the task for selling 200,000 worth of archaeological items was done, and this is all done automatically. It even gets sold automatically when the dig resets, so you don't have to do anything. At this point, I got the achievement for making 100,000 in research projects, so always research when a project is available with the money symbol, and if you got the right teacher. Even when you unlock this achievement or trophy, there is another one for completing 50 research projects, so do this in every campus, handy for upgrades and extra money. The last task, which can be really tedious and slow, and you might think this is going to take about 10 academic years or more, there's a few things you can do to quicken this. The first, at the start of a new academic year, go into the course options and take less students in. The less students you take in, the more they concentrate in class and get higher grades. And if you've got plenty of money, think about lowering the tuition fees. You will be at loss, but if you have millions and the digs offsets that loss anyway. Now having A plus classes is slightly different than A plus students. This is why it takes longer. It's to do with the class being taught and for the students to understand it at an A plus level. So both students and teachers should be happy. And think about hiring higher teaching staff to replace lower staff and Training them up. Also, having the inspiration skill is really helpful for you students to understand better, so look out for that skill and upgrade that skill as well. The lecture room was the best class to give out A plus classes, but I put in a second one and it was never used. Make sure you upgrade the lecture room to level 3. Here is an overview of my campus after three stars, another big campus to the left full of high level rooms, two more dig sites to the right, and the campus filled with rugs and dino statues for the attractiveness level.
If you like this video, subscribe to my channel, where there are more strategy game videos. Also, the channel has achievement and trophy guides, secret and tips from the latest releases to classic retro games. Thanks for watching.